so here I am at the 1985 Toronto International Boat Show. So here I am at the 1985 Toronto International Boat Show. I have never seen anything like this in my entire life. This place is huge. The show is being held in the old exhibition buildings on the waterfront in Toronto. It is the largest indoor boat show in Canada, and possibly North America. I am working as a sales representative for Sandy Cove Marine, on the Tempest Boats sales booth. My new job is to sell boats. In the fall of 1984 I was taking a course at Georgian College in Barrie, Ontario. Part of the curriculum required me to work for two weeks in the real world. The idea was for me to gain work experience in a field of my choice. I had decided I wanted to work for the local TV station CKVR. In order to prepare myself and learn about the station I was watching CKVR TV at home. A commercial for Sandy Cove Marine came on. I didn't pay any attention to the commercial until I heard the phone number. Their phone number started with the numbers 436. Those were the same three numbers my phone number at home started with. I thought they might be a local business and could be located nearby. The next time I saw their commercial I paid attention and wrote down the phone number. Despite the fact I knew nothing about boats, I called Sandy Cove Marine to make an appointment to see the owner, Ted Delamore. I wanted to ask him if he could use a salesman to work for him for free. We made an appointment for later that afternoon. I went to Sandy Cove Marine dressed in a three-piece suit to meet with Ted. Ted and I went to his office where I explained the two-week work program, and how I could work for him for free. I told him of my experience in sales in a large sporting goods store. I also told him that I was legally blind and had poor eyesight. He was fine with all of that, including my eyesight. But what interested him most was the fact that I would work for him for free for two weeks. My timing had been perfect. The boat show was coming up in early January and he needed a salesman to work in the Tempest booth. I was hired, sort of, for two weeks to sell boats at the 1985 Toronto International Boat Show. It was the end of November, and the boat show was mid-January. I had a little over a month to learn everything about boats. Starting that day I began a grueling, an extensive, intense training program on everything you need to know about boats. Not really. My training consisted of Ted giving me three brochures, Gru Boats, Cataret Boats and Tempest Boats. He said to read these and I'll call you in January. That was it. Training over. The funny thing about brochures is that all the boats look the same size. They're all just a few inches long. The pictures are all made to fit on the same size page. I didn't realize that in real life a 15 foot boat is 15 feet long and a 30 foot boat is 30 feet long. They are all the same size in the brochure. And then I arrived at the boat show for the first time. Wow. What an eye-opening experience that was. You haven't seen anything until you have walked beside a 45-foot long boat towering 20 or 30 feet over your head. Up until that point in time I had never seen a boat that large out of the water. Walking down the aisle between two of these monsters was like walking down a narrow alley between two big buildings. Only these were not buildings. They were huge luxury yachts. Some of the larger carver boats and sea rays were truly awe-inspiring. The Tempest boat display was nothing like that. Tempest boats were our economy line. They built boats from 15 to 26 feet. Some sizes available in both outboard models and stern drives. The Toronto International Boat Show is a love-hate relationship. You love the excitement and the glitz and glamour of the show, but you hate the long hours of being on your feet. Throughout that 10 days I must have talked to hundreds of people. The boat show is the best place to learn about boats. If you are thinking of buying a boat the boat show has everything you could possibly want. As well you can find all the information you need to make a well informed decision on what type of boat to buy for your particular needs. First time buyers and experienced owners can both learn a lot at the boat show. The boat show is also a great way to spend the day. Exploring the boats and all the hundreds of different accessory booths can be a lot of fun for the whole family. Knowing who is a looker and who is a buyer is a very important skill for a salesperson. Talking to everyone can be interesting and enjoyable, but you are there to do a job. You need to figure out who is just looking and who is an interested buyer. Don't be afraid to ask them when they are thinking of buying a new boat. 
For the 1985 show we travelled back and forth from Innisfil to the waterfront in Toronto. This made for a very long day. On the way home we would talk about how the day went. Ted would inquire whether we had any good prospects or leads. On one of those occasions Ted asked me if I had spoken to anyone interesting. I told Ted that I had a deaf couple looking at one of the small runabouts. I told him they were using sign language. He immediately came back with, how could you see what they were saying? At the end of the second week of the show I sold my first boat. I'm not sure if it was Friday or Saturday. I sold a Tempest 263F cabin. The flagship of the Tempest boat line. It went for approximately $37,000. That was a very impressive sale in 1985. Closing a walk-in deal at the boat show is hard to do. At the close of the show, we all gathered at one of the booths for a couple of celebratory rum and cokes. I can't remember how many boats were sold at the show that year, but Ted told us it had been a good show. Several boats had been sold that week including my 263 Tempest. My very first boat sale ever. We were all having a couple of drinks and talking when Ted turned to me and spoke. John, I guess I should give you a job. You sold a boat. True.